on guys, Chris Chavez here with Fandry.com and we are here with the Google Home Mini. Uh, it doesn't officially come out until a little bit later this year, but Google uh, gave it to us sort of as a free parting gift for attending their event, their big Pixel uh, Google Assistant event uh, yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and crack it open and I am going to see, uh, basically set it up and see how easy it is to set up because I've never had Google Home, I've never messed with any of these things before. Uh, I'm not really big on, you know, smart speakers, but uh, let's go ahead and just see what's in the box and how quickly it is to set it up. So this is the Google Home Mini. Um, basically, there's little LED lights on top. You can touch the sides to, uh, I believe, change volume or skip ahead on tracks and stuff. There's a speaker in here. You can tap to pause and play, and then you can hold it to activate Google Assistant or activate it just by saying, OK, Google. Uh, on the bottom, it's got this nice little rubberized grip. I think there's a, a button there to sort of pair it up with something. And then you have the microphone button switch here that you can sort of uh, turn off the microphone if you don't want it to be always listening. And you have micro USB on the back, which is sort of a really odd, strange choice, um, seeing as how uh, Google has sort of moved to Type-C for everything. So, yeah, whatever. Also in the box, you have your usual documentation and how to set it up and safety information, which we're going to need. And then you have a very, very ample, long uh, micro USB cable is very nice high quality it feels silky and smooth and nice would have been nice if it was type c i could use that on my pixel but you know it is what it is um okay so i already have a micro usb cable right here so let's go ahead and plug this sucker in which i believe is probably the first thing you should do oh there we go okay so don't just use a standard micro usb um cable with an adapter because apparently it needs a little more power <laughs> So the lights are up, so we know that it's already kind of working, and now that we have it plugged into the actual Google Home adapter... Um, whoa! That's awesome. You guys see that? Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, which I just did. Maybe I should... Oh, it just showed up! Okay, so at the top here, you can see one device found. Let's go ahead and set it up. Google Home 3, 3590. Google Home Mini found. Sweet! Click Next. Connecting to your Google Home Mini. This is kind of kind of sweet, and that sound was pretty impressive from such a little bite-sized speaker. Looks like it's doing its thing. You can see there are some little lights kind of going around. Uh, did you hear the sound? This lets you know you're connected to the right one. Yeah, I did. Okay, yes. Where is this device? Um, my bed bedroom, I guess, for now. Bedroom, sure. I don't know why that matters. Oh, because you can have multiple, so it's good to name them um, according to where they're going to be at. So whether it's like the master bedroom or kids' room or you know kitchen or okay, so uh, custom room name. No, that's fine. Um, let's just put Beeb's room. Okay. Click continue. Uh, connect to Wi-Fi, so I believe this is going to get the Google Home up and running on Wi-Fi, so you're going to go ahead and connect it to whatever you like. I'm just going to go with 2.4 gigahertz network instead of the 5 gigahertz, because I don't know if it's going to give me trouble if I do that. So um, From there, you're going to type in your Wi-Fi password so that your Google Home Mini knows how to connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, so it did tell me that because my phone is connected to the 5 gigahertz network and the Google Home Mini is connected to the 2.4 gigahertz. Home isn't set up yet. To get started, download uh, the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. It was going to do something weird. So basically it's going to switch my phone, which you can kind of see it doing there. Uh, it's going to try to switch it over to the 2.4 gigahertz network so that they can talk to each other. And it seems like we are good. And uh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, looks like we're good. Now we're all on the same page. Sweet. Um, so now you're going to set up Google Assistant. And there's tons of different partners and all the terms of service. Basically sign your life away. Click Next. Teach Google Assistant to recognize your voice. Okay, sure. I never do this, but let's do it. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, so I tried to use a little bit of a different tones because sometimes I'm in a good mood and I'm like, hey Google, you know, blah, whatever. And sometimes I'm like, hey Google, hey Google, what up? <laughs> um, 
waiting for the device to be updated. Oh, your assistant can now recognize your voice. You're all set, so it looks like it's working just fine. And it's doing its thing again. <laughs> Um, so it does ask you to confirm your address so that it can tell you things like the traffic and all that fun stuff Which it showed on camera for a second there. I had to uh, gonna have to cut that um, Your email address You can add premium music services, which I already have Spotify. So let's go ahead and link that account real quick All right, so connect your Google to your Spotify account. Let's go ahead and do that um, I think Spotify isn't working 100% with it right now, but I did believe there was an article that we wrote saying that full support is coming. Google Play Music. No, let's go ahead and use that as my default music service. So when you tell it to play music or play an artist, you know, you want to have the correct music service. Try Spotify, your video service. Uh, this is going to make you connect to Netflix, which I guess we'll do. All right now, it had you confirm some stuff which verifies your address. I don't want to show that. And then um, sort of uh, allows you to also add a payment option in case you want to buy things like food and whatnot or delivery. But now it looks like it's ready. So Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. Sweet. I'm here to help. Goodness. To learn a few things you can do, Jeez continue in the Google Christ. Home app. How do I turn you down, woman? There we go. Oh, that's, that's kind of easy. <laughs> um, hey, Google. Sorry, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Are you kidding me? Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go to it. Um, so it looks like we're all set up, and you can sort of do some of the voice actions. So now I can say things like, "Hey Google." Hmm. Tell, something went wrong. Tell me. Try again in a few seconds. What? What? Why? All right, so once it's all set up, uh, I mean, in theory, you should be able to say things like, okay, Google, tell me about my day. There was a glitch. Try again in a few seconds. But it's glitched out, so <laughs> I guess we'll have to troubleshoot that later. But uh, hopefully for you, everything works hunky-dory. Uh, for me, not so much, but uh, that is Google Home. That is how you set it up. And uh, the different things for volume, you can see the volume indicator for the LED, and you can touch the hold to do Google Assistant. Yeah, good times. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for Google Home setup. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to Panda.com for more. I am Chris Chavez, and I will see you in the next video. Stupid.